Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be talking about something uh, which uh, I don't think should be happening, but that is the case with the MacBooks and pretty much all of the Mac products right now is that Apple has completely moved it up to Thunderbolt and USB-C. So as you can see right here, that th this MacBook Pro 13 has two Thunderbolt slash USB 4 ports, and uh, which is all right because, because most of my accessories are USB Type C. But some things like my mouse, for example, like you can take uh, this mouse right here. Uh, this is not USB Type-C, this is a USB-A mouse. And that's causing me a bit of an issue because to connect USB-A products into USB-C, there are two workarounds. Either you get a USB-C hub, which I'm going to be talking about in this video, and either you use Bluetooth. So my mouse right now, this one which I use, that does not support Bluetooth. So I'm in the dongle land. And this is pretty much the ultimate dongle for portability and all it has at all. So we're going to be talking about this USB-C hub in this video and let's get right into it. Here we are and this is the MacBook Pro 13 which is an absolutely beast of a machine. This is fantastic for its size. Like this is just 13 inches. It can outperform my 14 inch Dell in Spiron. And just just one complaint I have with this device is that it features only two USB 4 slash Thunderbolt ports, which are USB Type C. I mean, USB Type C is not an issue, but the thing is that uh, having a bit of versatility would be much much better because some of my accessories, like my mouse and my storage devices, are still in USB Type A. I'm planning on upgrading. If you have any suggestions, please leave me down in the comments. But right now, this is the issue I'm having. So this is quite possibly the ultimate fix. So now I, I care about I care a lot about my space. So I'm gonna use a very small product. This is literally so small, like this is so tiny. And still it has two USB A ports, one Thunderbolt port, one USB 4 port, which is also USB type C by the way. Uh, right here, as you can see, uh, this is the dock. It has uh, two USB C's, one is Thunderbolt, the other is USB A, and uh, the other port is this 4K 60fps HDMI port, which which is amazing, and this helps me a lot. You know, the, sometimes you have that one accessory which is just not compatible, and you have this amazing computer, but you just can't use it on that. Here you go, you have the fix. This is pretty much the best product you can get for your money. This costs less than $100 and this thing is amazingly built. This is space grey, you can also get a silver one. I like a two-tone finish, my Mac is silver, so I ordered the space grey. And this has a beautiful build quality. This is built out of aluminum, it has a braided insertion cable. And this is just amazing, it's aluminum built. It has all the ports which I'll ever need. It has a Thunderbolt capable, charging, power delivery capable, USB-C port, two USB. A ports and uh, a 4K 60 FPS HDMI. What else would I ever need? And this actually looks really clean on your desk. So suppose you're just using it like that and it looks really clean. Thanks to that sharp look is this indicator light which tells you whether it's working or not. So suppose it has failed, it has uh, one year, you can extend it to two years warranty. And uh, this will tell you whether it's connected and working properly. So this just works amazingly and say I have some products connected to it. Say this mouse, this is the mouse I have and if I want to connect it to it, I'll just take out the USB port right here, I'll connect it, really simple and I'll start working right here. And now I'm not using it right now so I'm just going to remove it but this, this is the best setup which I'll ever need. This has, this still leaves one USB-C port open and also if you do need that one extra Thunderbolt port, this one has that. This is the power delivery capable Thunderbolt port which is also USB Type-C slash USB 4 and these two USB ports are USB 3 ports so you'll, you'll possibly never need another dongle unless you are that server type of guy which where you need all that type of stuff. So this is quite possibly the best M1 Mac or any Mac for that matter the best dongle you'll ever need for a MacBook. That's going to be pretty much it for me in this video. If you enjoyed it or it helped you out, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It would be 
massively appreciated and if you enjoyed the video please do consider giving it a like it really motivates me to make more content for you guys and helping you guys out so my name is Aditya you are watching Tech Unimagined and I'm going to see you in the next video and also by the way the review for the M1 MacBook Pro is gonna drop soon on my YouTube channel so do, do, do consider subscribing so you don't miss that and this I'm just giving you a little spoiler this machine is an absolute beast of a machine you wouldn't expect more performance in a 13 inch ultrabook and this thing has the ultimate build quality and stuff so I'm not gonna dive deep the dive into it right now but do consider for the review it's gonna be just amazing and my name is Atya you are watching Tech Unimagined and I'm gonna see you in the next video